Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about belt systems and you can see here when you uh, want to haul a belt around you can just attach it to a tractor like normal and sort of our goal is something like this and if you've seen my silage video you have seen this setup and you have this piece which will pick up from the ground and it'll dump into whatever you want it to dump into and you can keep kind of chaining them together. So today we will look at sort of a different setup, but very similar to that. So if we look at belts in the tools, you can see that we just looked at this one and of course this one, which picks them up. The only one we won't see today is this one, which is very similar to this, just shorter and smaller. And then this one, which is in my beets video, my sugar beets video, because this just packages up beets and potatoes into pallets. You don't really use it as part of a belt system. So then the other ones today are this one, and this will be sort of like a, a linking connection one, and it'll be able to kind of move um, into different shapes to help you out. And then this one, which can extend a very long ways away, and we'll see both of those right now. So once you kind of get them sort of where you want to go, you'll go into them just like you would a vehicle. So I'll hit E to enter vehicle, and then you can drive them around just like a vehicle. And then once you get to where you want it, you can hit B to turn on, and it'll, um, if you had somewhere to unload it, I'll just unload like this. It should pick it up. I don't know why it won't. Maybe it does need to have a belt, but it should turn on and unload. So then we can get rid of this tractor and just drop it off. So here's sort of that interlinking connection one. We'll actually save that for the end because what I want to do first is put down, down our end piece. So this is that really expensive one. And if you look in the controls in the top left, you have um, a lot of ways to move this. So this can go in or out and sort of extend or shorten. And then if I hit left mouse, that was right mouse. If I hit left mouse, then I can raise it. And so you can see this one's pretty maneuverable. And uh, we can kind of play around with the length in a little bit. And then here's the one I said that was sort of used as a connection to interlink them. Because again, you can see how you can make sort of different angles and shapes that you need and raise and lower it as needed. So I am going to go here and you should be able to move this, that's what I want, down like this. And then a lot of this is just kind of messing around. And sometimes it does take a while and you can see that those attach. I never actually attach them. I find that it gets messier once you hit Q and attach them. So I always just leave them uh, detached from another. But we might already be set up depending if this can reach or not. And so we basically want this to go under. And you can see it's a little too short. It's not quite over the where we want it to unload. So we'll go about right there. And I actually want to lift this so that it's over that belt. And then I can move this around. And that's really should be good enough. It might not be. So then here's the uh, part that can get a little confusing. So if we turn this on, oh, you have to unfold it. That's why there. That was my mistake earlier. You'll see that it's unloading. I'm gonna actually, and then if I get out, uh, and you don't have to turn on all the belts, just the one that picks it up. If I get out, it's going to stop and just sort of finish. And you can see way over here, it'll actually be unloading into the uh, bin there. Now the reason this stopped is because it's treating it like a vehicle. And so in options, if you go to automatic engine start. If automatic engine start is on, 
then what happens when you leave a vehicle is that the vehicle shuts off automatically. So you actually want to turn that off and then you have to manually turn on the vehicle by hitting enter. But then when you get out, the vehicle stays on. And so you can actually keep unloading your belt and I can do the same thing over here. I already have this set up. It'll work the exact same way. You start the engine. Again, make sure it's unfolded. It must not quite be far enough for some reason. And there we go. That'll drop into there. Uh, it, it, it's a little weird. It actually is unloading. It wouldn't be unloading if it wasn't. It's just that the visual is not on. And there you can see, again, it's just a little off. It is unloading into the bin. This is just a game little bug that may or may not ever be fixed. So. That is a belt system in a nutshell. Uh, you can link these as many as you need, as long as you need. Uh, the, just make sure that you unfold, get this one to pick it up, and then again, turn off that engine start, automatic engine start, so that you manually have to turn them on or else the vehicle shuts off and you can't just let it run like this. Um, and it'll just go, it'll pick up quite a ways, but eventually you'll probably have to adjust this a little bit um, and kind of keep inching it forward. And that is it. So the only one I didn't show is that uh, second to the last one. And this is just a smaller version of this. So that is it. I hope you learned something. I hope that helps. If you uh, have a question, go ahead and leave a comment, like, subscribe below. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.